For number six, what gets your attention? The negative one that would certainly get your attention because that's kind of weird. Like it could be put over here, but it's put in the front. What else catches your attention? The point five. So, uh, so I'm going to get the point five out. So point five right here, and then I want to factor out the uh, point five. So inside the parentheses, it will be x plus how many? Now, before you give me the answer, I just want to remind you that this number times this number would get you one. So what number times 0.5 would get you one? Two. Two. Okay, that's factoring. And then I would uh, also keep the minus one at the end. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, four numbers. What would the transformations be? Down one at the end, yes. Left two, definitely. We have a uh, we have a uh, for this two right here the numerator two it's a vertical stretch by two, and then this one half right here is a horizontal stretch by also by two because one half reciprocal is two. So. Now, again, I'm going to do the uh, the original points right here first, just to show you where it was originally. But because we have a vertical stretch, so one becomes two for the y value, negative one becomes negative two. And then with the horizontal stretch, the x value goes from one to two. And negative one, two, negative two. So that's just the vertical and horizontal stretch. Then I'm going to count this carefully. We are going to move two units to the left, so right here. And then we're gonna move down by one unit. So that these will be the new location of our two dots. And uh, where is our vertical asymptote? Well, if I look at this, if I look at this, I know X cannot equal two. Negative two, and since we are also shifting to the left two units, so we have a consensus right here that the vertical asymptote should be at negative two for x, and then uh, the horizontal asymptote is shifted down by one unit, so uh, y is equal to uh, negative one for the uh, horizontal asymptote. Okay, so. Um, so we can at least draw our left hand side of the graph already because of the uh, because it doesn't touch any of the uh, into uh, axes. On the right, we have ourselves a y intercept, which is zero comma one. Then now, what is the y intercept? I mean, the x intercept, right? X intercept is when y goes zero. So zero is equal to two over. Point, uh, five x plus one minus one. Okay, so uh, we're gonna move the one over. So again, I'm going to multiply both sides by point five x plus one. So uh, point five x plus one times one is by itself. It's equal to two. So we have point five x equals to one. And you divide by point five on both sides. What's one over 0.5? It's equal to two. So therefore our X intercept should be two comma zero. And so we have the right hand side of the graph. Yay, okay. And the uh, center of rotational symmetry will be uh, negative two comma negative one. The domain it's uh, negative infinity to negative two from negative two to infinity. The range is anything but negative one. So that's where the interval would get broken apart into uh, two intervals. And here we go. So make sure you know how to handle these uh, uh, vertical stretch and uh, horizontal stretch. And be very careful with the B value as always. 
not just now, but uh, but uh, all the time for this kind of graph, for any kind of graphs. <laughs>